Hey guys, so I built this uh, makeshift engine stand. I didn't take a single measurement, so don't judge it. It's obviously a temporary engine stand. Got the motor mounted to it, got the muffler mounted. I put uh, oil in the crankcase, did a quick bolt check. So I think we're ready to give this thing a test and see if it runs. Now I'm not too sure of the wiring. Uh, I believe that this, uh, I guess this bluish purple wire is probably for the fuel shutoff solenoid, so we'll give that a test. Um, and I think that this is black wire is our kill wire. I got a 12 volt power supply over there. It's rated for engine starting, hopefully. I guess we'll find out. Um, so I'm going to test to make sure that I have, well, I got a jumper going to the ground in the motor. I'm just going to bump battery positive to this wire. We'll see if we hear a click. I do. So that's our fuel shutoff solenoid. That's good. And now to kill the ignition, we're just going to, all we would have to do is touch this black wire to our ground. So uh, let's get this thing going and see if it runs. First, I'm going to, well, first, that's right. I got to put some gas in a little bowl here and just flush out that fuel pump, like I said earlier on. All right. So I got some gas or a fuel line in a little tub of gas here, and I got somewhere for the fuel to drain out. I've instructed all the innocent bystanders to stay back and remain quiet. Let's see what happens when we blip the starter. Contact. Oh, wow, that's pretty disappointing. And I just smoked my ground cable. Awesome. New ground cable. All right, guys, I got some fuel to go through the fuel pump. Excuse me, sir, would you mind? Try one more time. Try it again. Pull it. Now it appears our Bendix drive is stuck. Never a dull moment with old equipment. Is it every time I start to film a video, it starts to pour. All right, so my, my little battery charger thing didn't really want to seem to do much with this motor. So I hooked it up to my zero turn there and I was able to get the motor to turn over. And as you can see, the fuel pump spat out some nasty looking fuel. So I think now it's safe to actually give it some real fuel and uh, maybe let the oil pump run a little bit and pump some oil through the motor. All right, let's let it run for a minute. Okay, probably good enough for now. All right, guys, I got the fuel shutoff solenoid wired to a little jumper cable here that's gonna go to battery positive, a different jumper cable, not the one I smoked. So we'll hook that to battery positive here. We'll get our little vat of fuel, which is somewhere over here, away from the sparky bits. Let's see what happens. It should go to idle, but I'll stand here with the kill switch just in case. Nobody's home. Thus, maybe our shutoff solenoid is no good, which is possible. I do hear it clicking, but maybe it's not letting any fuel in. Let's give it a shot again. Maybe a little bit of choke. There, we need some more gas. Take 12. Let's get the gasoline away from the sparky bits. Okay, I guess I just needed some choke. Let's try that again.
That god awful noise you hear is the muffler. Wanna hear it rev? I would say she runs pretty well. That's a wrap, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and the rebuild. If you did, please subscribe and stay safe. Thanks for watching.